Good evening, and welcome to the 171st Student Award Ceremony of Rhodes College. It's my honor to introduce the 20th President of Rhodes College, Dr. Marjorie Haas. Good evening. I'm so pleased to welcome you all to be with us on this very special occasion. Uh, every year, the Rhodes Honors Convocation brings us together to celebrate extraordinary academic achievement. And this year we're gathering virtually, but our celebration is no less authentic or meaningful. The students we honor tonight are exemplars of the Rhodes mission. They have brought talent and hard work to their studies. They are curious and they are engaged lifelong learners. To each of these students, I can't tell you how proud we are of you. We want you to take a breath and reflect on your work at Rhodes and what it has meant to you. But this event, even as it puts you at the center, is not just about you. It's about something bigger. In honoring you, we honor as well the professors who inspired and challenged you. We honor the staff who supported and encouraged you. We honor your families for the ways they nurtured your character and celebrated your talents. We honor your classmates who worked alongside you. We honor most fundamentally our shared commitment to the life of the mind and the ongoing search for truth that is at the center of a Rhodes education. I commend each of you on your achievements and I wish for you the success and satisfaction that comes from using those achievements in ways that heal the world. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, President Haas, for your warm welcome. On behalf of the faculty of Rhodes College, I'm pleased this afternoon to recognize our outstanding student achievements this year. I know you'll be as impressed as I have been with the many and varied accomplishments that we will celebrate here today. Before announcing the awards, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to April Allen, the Administrative Assistant in the Office of Academic Affairs. Um, she put this program together. I'll begin this afternoon with the Departmental and Program Awards. In the Africana Studies program, the Anna Julia Cooper Award goes to two students, Kennedy Tuggle and Amory Austin. In Anthropology and Sociology, the Francis and Edwina Hickman Award goes to two students, Anu Iyer, and William McLean, congratulations. In the Art and Art History Department, the Apollonian Award is, is given to Jenna Gilly. And the Dionysian Award for Studio Art goes to Ben Aquila. Also in art, the Sally Becker Greenspan Award for Artistic Achievement is awarded to these students. Ben Aquila, Annie Grace Netterville, and Jamie Payne. And finally, in art and art history, the William Bruce Class of 2011 Award for Outstanding Paper in Art History goes to Jenna Gilly. Congratulations. In the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology program, the award for outstanding research goes to Idipan Rasasak. And the award for outstanding senior goes to Toller Frialdenhoven. In the biology department, the award for excellence in biology goes to Simon McSweeney. 
And the award for outstanding research in biology goes to Annie O'Young. The award for excellence in first year biology is awarded to two outstanding first year students enrolled in our introductory biology courses. First award goes to Kate Frialdenhoven. And this award goes to Swati Kinger. Congratulations. In the business department, the Ralph C. Hahn Leadership Award goes to Ted Bilden. The CBIZ MHM Accounting Award for a Senior Student is awarded to Caitlin Curtis. The CBIZ MHM Accounting Award for a Junior Student goes to Sarah Foster. The Robert D. McCallum Competitive Enterprise Award goes to Jack Nichols. The J. Allen Boone Class of 71 Award for Excellence in Accounting this year is awarded to Andrew Morton. And the John M. Planchin Senior Award for Excellence in Commerce and Business is awarded to Harlan Hutton. Congratulations. In the chemistry department, the CRC First Year Chemistry Award this year goes to Trevor Squires. The Michael E. Hendrick Class of 67 Award in Organic Chemistry is awarded to Lily North. The William Spandau Scholarship in Chemistry goes to Angel Harris. The Chemistry Senior Research Award is awarded to Kieran Lee. The ACS Division of Organic Chemistry Award in Organic Chemistry to Erica Starr. The ACS Division of Inorganic Chemistry Award in Inorganic Chemistry goes to Karen Lee. The ACS Division of Analytical Chemistry Award in Analytical Chemistry is awarded to Mary Rose Rutledge. And the ACS Division of Physical Chemistry Award in Physical Chemistry is awarded to Liam Rhodes. Congratulations in chemistry. In the economics department, the Seedman Award in Economics for a senior student is awarded this year to Savannah Kurtz. The Seedman Award in Economics for a first year or sophomore student is awarded to Iman Hussein. And in economics, the Lynn Nettleton Prize is awarded to John Medich. Congratulations to all of you in economics. In our educational studies program, the Joy Fermi Cobb Romeiser Award in Education this year is awarded to Cynthia Bolonos Zamora. And in the English department, the John R. Benish Award for Excellence in the Study of English is awarded to Benji Freeman. The Cynthia Marshall Award is awarded to Meg Jarrett. The Jane Donaldson Keppel Senior English Essay Prize, thumbs up, goes to Ashley Carpenter. The Alan Tate Creative Writing Award for Poetry goes to Scott Hale. And the Alan Tate Creative Writing Awards for Prose is awarded to two students, Matt Harris, congratulations, Matt, and Jake Rothschild. Congratulations to all of our English Award winners. 
in environmental sciences and studies. The senior awards in environmental science are awarded to two students, Claire McGuire and Shannon Kane. The senior award in environmental studies goes to Shirley Fontenay. The sophomore award in environmental science goes to Sophie Enda. And the sophomore award in environmental studies is awarded to Lily Roberts. The award named after one of our beloved faculty members, Rosanna Capilato, the award in environmental science this year goes to Katie Tucker. And the Steve and Rhea Lanoff Crop Trust Fellowship in honor of our board chair, Gary Fallon, this year is awarded to Bailey Kate. Congratulations to all of you in ENVS. In Film and Media Studies, the Film and Media Studies Award for Excellence in Writing goes to Olivia Dotti. And the Film and Media Studies Award for Excellence in Production goes to Adelaide Turpin. In the Gender and Sexuality Studies Program, the Gender and Sexuality Studies Award for Academic Achievement goes to Anu Iyer. And the Susan Tidball Means Award to Tsvi Nadel. In the Greek and Roman Studies Department, the Spencer Greek Award this year is awarded to Abigail Morisi. And the Far Prize in Latin is awarded to Emma Hauk. Congratulations. In the History Department, the Distinguished John Henry Davis Award this year goes to Chandler Hall. The First Year Student Award in History goes to Julia Seeds. The Phi Alpha Theta Award in History to Matthew Brossard. And the Douglas W. Hatfield Research Award in History is awarded to Jordan Snowden and Joe Angelillo. Congratulations, history majors. In the International Studies Department, the Bobby Dowdy Memorial Award is awarded to two students, Noor Jaber and Jacqueline Flood. The Anne Rory Memorial Award this year is awarded to Caitlin Gain. The Donald Joseph Gaddis Memorial Award in Middle Eastern Studies goes to McKenna Brandt. And the John Franklin Copper Award for Excellence in the Study of Asia goes to Pu Pu Kine. In the Latin American and Latinx Studies program, the outstanding advanced student in Latin American and Latinx Studies is Angelica Garza. These four students receive the outstanding first and second year students in Latin American and Latinx Studies, Mel Diaz. Carlos Salas, Elizabeth Pena, and Ellie Forrester. Congratulations. In the Mathematics and Computer Science Department, the Jack 
U. Russell Awards go to the following students. The Outstanding Senior Award in Mathematics to Gina Piriano. And in Computer Science to Jose Pastrana. For outstanding work by a second year student in mathematics, the Jack Russell Award goes to Lexi Conk. And in computer science, the award goes to Grace Hill. And the Jack U. Russell Awards for work by a first year student in math goes to Lillian Whitesell and in computer science to Gibby Fakes. The William Spandau Scholarship in Mathematics this year is awarded to Evelyn Wynn. And finally, the Computer Science Award this year goes to Kevin Wayne. Congratulations to all of you in math and computer science. In the Modern Languages and Literatures Department, the Jared Winger Award goes to Tofu Schmood. The Thacker Freeman Chinese Studies Award to Jacob Dill. And the Li Zhu Ying Memorial Award for Chinese Language Excellence goes to Annie Entz. Congratulations to all of you in modern languages and literatures. In the music department, the Ruth Moore Cobb Award in Instrumental Music is awarded to Harley Chapman. The Luis Mercer Award goes to two students, Amanda Salazar and Grace Tomini. And the Louise Nichols Award in Vocal Music goes to Ramin Imam. Finally, the Jane Soderstrom Award in Music goes to a familiar face, Chandler Hall. Congratulations. In Neuroscience, the Hunter Award for Excellence in neuroscience goes to Lelo Shamambo. And the awards for outstanding seniors in neuroscience are allowed, uh, awarded to the following three students. Lelo, stay up here. Lelo Shamambo, Elise Moy. And Yavin Alwis, congratulations to all of you in the neuroscience program. In the philosophy department, the Lawrence F. Kinney Prize this year goes to Jacob Sullivan. Congratulations. In the physics department, the award for excellence in physics by a first year student is awarded to the following two students, Nolan Brown and Elizabeth Howard. And the research award in physics goes to Duck Huang. The physics department award to Donnie Thomas. and the William Spandau Scholarship in Physics to Anna Murphy. Finally in Physics, the Mac Armour Physics Fellows this year are William Newman and Nolan Brown. Congratulations to all of you in the Physics Department. In our political economy program, 
The Thomas M. Garrett Award this year goes to Jackson Griffey. The Sophomore Political Economy Award goes to John Howell. Congratulations to you both. In the Political Science Department, the Seedman Award in Political Science for a, su a senior student is awarded to Catherine Bryant. The Seedman Award in Political Science for a first year student goes to Natalie Smith. The Mike Cody Award in Political Science is awarded to Morgan Brown. The Abe Fortas Award for Excellence in Legal Studies to Matt Diana. And the Charlie Cook Award for Excellence in Political Science to Ellie Barmish. Congratulations to all of you in political science. In the psychology department, the E. Llewellyn Queener Award for Academic Excellence is awarded to Hibba Burke. The Korsakov Award for Departmental Citizenship to Jackie Pies. The Rose and Solly Korsakov Psychology Research Award goes to Hannah Lucas. In the famous Religious Studies Department of Rhodes College, the Religious Studies Award this year goes to Anna Browning. Congratulations, Anna. In the theater department, the Outstanding Senior Award goes to two students, Jordana Terrell and Roosevelt Singleton. The Mark Lee Stevens Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the following three students, Eliana Mabe, Annabelle Babbitt, And the final Mark Lee Stevens Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Raina Williams. Congratulations. In the Urban Studies Program, the Award for Excellence in Urban Studies goes to two students, Emma Taylor. And the Excellence in Urban Studies is also awarded to Tony Estridge. In our world famous search program, The Search for Values in Light of Western History and Religion, the Fred W. Neal Prize this year goes to Walker Coleman. The W. O. Shoemaker Award to Swati Kinger. And the Gladney Family Award for Excellence in Interdisciplinary Humanities is awarded to Diana Miranda. Congratulations to all of you for your excellent work in the search program this year. With that, I want to congratulate all of the department and program winners. And now I'm pleased to announce the junior inductees into the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. Anna, if you'll hold, hold that pose for just a moment, I'm gonna read a little bit about the Phi Beta Kappa Society. It is America's oldest honor society. Membership is one of the highest academic rec recognitions a student can attain. And it stands as a lifelong mark of excellence in the study of the liberal arts. Rhodes College has hosted the Phi Beta Kappa chapter since 1949. The Phi Beta Kappa Society has consistently ranked our chapter among the 20 best chapters nationwide. While seniors are traditionally inducted during commencement weekend, exceptional students from the junior class are eligible for early induction. And that's why we're here. 
As seniors next year, these students will participate as full members of our chapter, consulting with faculty about policy, as well as evaluating prospective members. Additionally, one of these junior inductees will serve as the student representative on the committee for the Clarence Day Faculty Teaching Awards. Those awards will be given out in two weeks at the final faculty meeting. Dr. Courtney Collins will present the following students with their Phi Beta Kappa pins when we return to campus. And Anna, thanks for holding that pose. Our first inductee is Anna Murphy. Also inducted as a junior, Katie Gaffney. And Benjamin Yaffe. Our fourth inductee is Lin Hao Xing. And our final junior inductee into the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society is Ramiz Somji. Congratulations to all five of you for this distinguished honor. In other non-departmental academic awards at the college, I'm pleased to announce the Mel Greenspan Outstanding Internship Award, which is given out every year by our Office of Career Services. This year, the Mel Greenspan Outstanding Internship Award goes to Caitlin Gain. In athletics, the Seedman Trophy in athletics is awarded to two outstanding student athletes, John Medich and Elise Moy. Congratulations to you both for that outstanding work as student athletes at Rhodes College. In a college award for creativity, the Luis and Ward Archer Senior Award for Creativity this year goes to Natalie Tamez Guerrero. Congratulations. That's a very nice award. The Ann Howard ba Bailey Prize for Creative Writing is awarded this year to two students, Carolyn Bond and Olivia Dotty. Congratulations. Every year we give out five distinguished awards named for Jane Hyde Scott. The Jane Hyde Scott Awards have different names related to different family members and are given out in five different departments. The Ruth Sherman Hyde Award in Music is given to Adam Wyatt. The Jean Scott Varnell Award in Classical Languages goes to Veronica Kilinowski doro The Margaret Ruffin Hyde Award in Psychology goes to Hannah Milburn. The Robert Allen Scott Award in Mathematics is given to Jinhui Li. And finally, the Joseph Reeves Hyde Award in religious studies this year goes to Haley Barker. Congratulations for receiving those distinguished High Jane Hyde Scott awards this year at Rhodes College. We also give out international internship awards. The Theodore Eccles International Internship Program is a competitive award that provides funding for select business and economic students to compete, uh, to complete an eight week summer internship in a country of their choosing. The following five students were awarded the Theodore William Eccles International Business Interns. Carolyn Farrell, Ted Hall, Ha V. Wynn, Dahlia Roth and Andre Orga. 
Congratulations. The Morel Leg International Internships is a competitive award that's given to one junior student who's majoring in business or economics. The award funds an international internship in the summer prior to the student's senior year. The Morel Leg International Internship this year is awarded to Sarah Foster. And another international internship award, the Murdy Buckman International Inter Internship Program began in 1994. This award recognizes top students with a major in international studies. These students are selected to complete an eight week summer internship in an international location. This year, the Murdy W. Buckman International Interns are the following seven students. Jake Ahern, Jacob Fontaine, Claire DeFanny, Kim Wen, Logan Rogers, Maggie Scott, and finally, Lauren Yanari. And finally, in this category, the Bob Buckman and Joyce Mullerup Scholarship for Study Abroad in the spring of 2020 went to the following five students. Alice Berry, Kira Lawson, Krista Libovitz, Rylan Lawrence, and Ife Cheng. Congratulations to all of you who, wore, who won these prestigious international opportunities from Rhodes College. I always want to thank the generous donors who have provided these in, international internships through endowed funding and in generosity to Rhodes College and made these opportunities available to our students. In addition to the awards given out by us at the college, students have won special scholarships awards. Many of them um, can be recognized now. Uh, other students will continue to win these awards after the program. But from the prestigious national and international programs to date, these students I'm happy to recognize for their amazing accomplishment. First, we'll start with the Fulbright Scholars Program. The Fulbright Program is the flagship international educational exchange program sponsored by the United States government and is des designed to increase mutual understanding between the people of the United States and the people of other countries. The Fulbright U.S. Student Program provides grants for English teaching assistantships, as well as for individually designed study research projects. Recipients are chosen for their academic merit and intellectual potential. And I'm particularly grateful to all the faculty who help mentor these students as they apply for these prestigious awards. And in particular, I want to mention Professor Robert Sachs of the History Department, who leads this initiative for us at the college. First, as you see, I'm proud to recognize Jessica Frankel, a senior educational studies major from Foster City, California, who will serve as an English teaching assistant in India. At Rhodes as a Murdy Buckman International Intern, Frankel worked in Cape Town, South Africa the summer of 2019 in Just Grace, an organization that assists underprivileged high school students in that area. During her time there, she was involved in lesson planning and tutoring and created her own program to help students apply to universities. Locally in Memphis, as a student at Rhodes, Frankel has also been a regular volunteer at Refugee Empowerment Program as an English tutor. Congratulations, Jessica. I'm also pleased to recognize Kaylee Payne, 
who will return to Malaysia for the first time since she was a baby. Returning as a Fulbright English teaching assistant. Coming to Rhodes from McKinney, Texas, Kaylee is an English major with concentrations in literature and creative writing, and she spent a semester studying in the Czech Republic. Congratulations, Kaylee, on this prestigious national award. Next, I'm happy to recognize Jenna Faust, who was a, selected for a student services fellowship by Anatolia College in Thessaloniki, Greece. The program serves as an educational bridge between the United States and Greece, seeking to promote American liberal arts educational values with traditional Greek pedagogy and learning. Faust is an international studies major and Latin American studies minor from Cincinnati, Ohio, who completed a Maymester to Greece and London in 2018, led by Dr. Nikos Zahariadis, who teaches in the international studies department. There, Jenna studied the migration crisis, the Greek economic crisis, and the impacts of these events on the Brexit vote. Congratulations, Jenna Faust. Our next award goes to Rami Somji, a junior majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology at Rhodes. He's among 396 college sophomores and juniors nationwide who've been selected as this year's Goldwater Scholars. Goldwater Scholars have, impressed, have impressive academic and research credentials, and Somji has gained laboratory experience as a St. Jude Summer Plus Fellow at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. With the St. Jude faculty, he has published papers and has made presentations about this work at two conferences with international audiences. In addition to receiving encouragement from his St. Jude mentors, Somji says, Quote, I'm very grateful to members of my lab, my professors at Rhodes College, and my family. They have all had lasting impressions on who I am as a scientist and person. I'm especially thankful for how professors Terry Hill and Laren Peterson have encouraged me to aim high and have always been there to support me. Congratulations on this very distinguished Goldwater Scholarship. Our next award recognizes our very own, Tony Estridge, a senior urban studies major and our Rhodes student government president. This year, Tony won an Emerson National Hunger Fellowship, an award that provides unique leadership development opportunities for motivated individuals to make a difference in eliminating hunger and poverty in the United States. Eskridge is a Clarence Day Scholar. He served as chairman of the class council and a student mentor in the first year seminar and serving our students program, SOS. As a 2018 summer service fellow, he worked for BLDG Memphis, which supports the revitalization of Memphis neighborhoods through organizational capacity building, public policy and advocacy. He also was a member of the 2019 Rhodes Institute for Regional Studies. Tony, what have you not done? Congratulations to Tony Estridge. And the final announcement this afternoon is the award winner, Lelo Shamambo, a neuroscience major who was awarded the prestigious Watson Fellowship. Lelo's project is titled Pills and Potions, Indigenous Knowledge in Modern Medicine, with proposed international destinations for her project as a Wilson Fellow in France, Morocco, Senegal, and Martinique. She seeks to explore how different communities integrate traditional knowledge systems into modern science and medicine while charting the traditional and scientific value of indigenous medicinal plant specimens. Congratulations to Lello for winning this prestigious national award.
Well, congratulations to all of you award winners. We are so proud of you. As we close our academic award ceremony for 2020, we extend you, the students, our best wishes and our biggest congratulations for a job well done. And I wanna extend all students at Rhodes a special congratulations for working so hard during this world pandemic. I wanna also extend my sincere thanks to the faculty and staff at Rhodes College, so many dedicated people who have taught and mentored our amazing students and these award winners. I hope you have a peaceful evening, a wonderful weekend. To those of you who are taking finals, good luck, stay calm. We look forward to seeing you back at Rhodes as soon as health and safety allows us to reopen our campus fully. God bless you all. Have a great evening. Thank you.